<laughs> if it's like avoidable, well, Garth, I guess Even it really better. doesn't matter. No. Even no. When it's as long cold, as it doesn't have the it's Although an ejector seat would be good if you have a date you don't like, you can just eject oh, yourself. Oh, boy. <laughs> yourself. Or they would eject, eject me, yourself. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's be more loving, thought. can we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Hey, look at this. Look at how beautiful that shot is. Here we go again. That's what a day cool. today. A few high clouds spilling through the area. So we have an area, of, well, a bunch of different fronts kind of moving through uh, troughs that are coming through the area over the next couple of days. There will be four of them totally, really not much rain-wise coming away. But it keeps us in this pattern, 57 degrees. Winds are calm, 27 right up in Big Bear right now, 48 in Victorville. Lancaster, the same Camarillo at 58 and 57 Santa Ana, 62 degrees. So we were just a few degrees warmer today than we were yesterday. Listen, if you're heading off to the east, we are going to start to pick up some wind advisories beginning tomorrow through Friday. We're going to hit some onshore winds here as these troughs kind of slip their way down the coast while well, actually towards the end. Interior and on the heels of those, we get those strong onshore winds. So, if you're going out to Havasu or Vegas, just a heads up through Thursday, we'll pick those up and maybe a little more as we go into Friday as well. There's the direction of the winds as we take you out through tomorrow morning. A little bit of a mix, but watch what happens on Thursday. That trough starts to slide down through Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. The wind speeds in Oxnard 36, Santa Monica 24. These are all onshore winds and they'll strengthen as they get out towards the deserts. And as we make our way in through early Friday morning, that's why I'm telling you to hang on to the wheel as you drive yourself out to the east because it'll get going just a little bit for us. There's that low that moves off and there's a couple of lows behind it that will start to sweep down through the area as well. Now, Thursday night, Friday morning, it's the same thing we saw at this last trough that came through. Could see a little action happening up on the grapevine. Snow levels not down to 2K, but to about 3,000 feet. That could produce maybe an inch to two inches of snow on parts of the grapevine and up north towards Kern County line. Just be careful. Be cool if you're driving up there. You want to check ahead with the CHP before that happens, just in case they have an issue. So, tomorrow, 63 showers late through Friday morning. Whatever we get won't be much, but it's around through the area. About a 30% chance. I got to leave it in there. Then you can see Saturday and Sunday will nudge a ridge in. It'll just try to get us back to normal. And then we follow another couple of areas that move through Monday and the Tuesday, Tuesday and a Wednesday. So they just kind of sweep through. Actually, the second one will come through Saturday night, Sunday morning, but it's so far to the interior. Shouldn't affect too much for us. The nights stay cool. It should be just a couple of degrees warmer tonight than tomorrow or than it was last night. Uh, for the IE, 58 tomorrow. High deserts, 55. Mountains coming in at 31. Still cold at night, so they're making snow up there. And just a quick heads up. I was sorry to hear about Billy Graham today. What a great life. Well lived. God bless him. My grandparents loved Billy Graham. Yeah, really so good. did mine. My yeah. parents did too. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, but you know, we know where he is. Yeah.